All right, what's up, my brothers from another mother? I'm on with Rolo Tomasi of the Rational Mail series. We're gonna be going through a bunch of questions today on Q&A uh, that I solicited through some social media platforms. Uh, those of you that are familiar with Rolo and need no introduction, uh, those that aren't, I'm gonna leave some links in the description below for his work to his books and to his blog. Uh, Rolo's a red pill pioneer and a guy that I can say for myself personally has opened my eyes to the way the world works. And I know he's um, woken up a lot of guys that have been sleepwalking through their life as well. So we're gonna get in a bunch of questions today. Leave a comment below and smash the like button and show this to somebody that might need to see it. All right, Rolo, so next question I got here is, um, this one comes to me a lot actually. And Alan says, where can a rational male find a rational female? He goes, uh, I'm in the UK and I feel like a very small percentage of women there uh, that aren't feminists in my local area. So, you know, anybody that is red pilled when they read the Rational Mail or even go through the series or read your essays online obviously starts asking questions. Okay, now that I've taken the red pill and I view the world with this lens, how do I find a woman that agrees with that aspect? Mm -hmm. um, I think. I think probably the best place to start, is, again, like we were talking about the, the vetting, you know, question prior to this. Um, I think, first of all, you need to ask yourself why it is that you're looking for, you know, this particular woman and what is it about, uh, you know, what has become your ideal. Um, I think that a lot of guys, when they become red pill, they want to apply that awareness towards um, an old uh, an old perspective. They want to say, well, I, now that I'm red pill, um, how can I get the girl of my dreams? The girl of my dreams that the blue pill convinced me is out there and that I should be able to get, I should be able to get to. And like I said, I've said in, uh, in what preventive medicine is like, you will never realize um, blue pill ideals with red pill awareness. So I think the first thing that a guy who would ask that question needs to understand is why is he asking that question in the first place? Um, where can I find a where can I find this girl? As if there's some like you know magical watering hole where all the unicorns gather around to drink before the light of a full moon or some bullshit like that. So um, I think that um, if you're I I think that you need to really be aware of what's going on around you and listen listen to. Uh, you know what women say. Uh, I think that there's a a, uh, uh, and, I, and I don't mean that in the sense that I would you know, listen to what they say. I mean listen to their casual conversations and listen to what it is that they're. Um, uh, what, what, if they ever sort of give up their their per, not say personal belief, but if they ever sort of give up hints to what it is that they they believe, um, you know, in a in a life in a life sense, you know, like what is their, their outlook on life? What is it that they, it seems to be that they expect from a guy? What is it that they seem to, um, to want? Um, and like I said, it's always very important to watch behavior and, and instead of listening to words, I'm, I'm not going back on that at all, but I'm just saying that, um, the reason I say that sometimes it's important to listen to women is because it allows you to sort of Get an idea of the incongruency between what they say and what they, they do. do. Yeah. And so um, I'll always think that what they do is always going to be more important than what they say because you know when a woman says she wants X, Y, and Z in a guy, and then you know the next day she's out with a guy who is the complete polar opposite of that dude. Well, you know from a behaviorism stance, um, the only true metric of you know, psychology and, and intent and motive is behavior. It's not what you say. It's always going to be what you do. And so uh, that's always, that's really been my tenet since I started, you know, studying behavioral psychology. But um, I think there's, there's no magical place. There's no, you know, I, I think that the, the proper, the answer that guys are looking for when they ask me this question is like, they want me to say, oh, go to church. Mm -hmm. Go to a Bible study. Um, go meet your mom's best friend who she knows from the salon. Um, go, f you know, go find some sort of social game or some sort of safe social environment where you can like find these good traditional chicks. I will tell you right now, <laughs> you can go to the church. You can go to any mainstream evangelical church right now where there's supposed to be these great girls who are very marriage minded, and you will hear every single one of them spout off some sort of aspect of feminism. And if you ask them, "Hey, are you a feminist?" 
they're going to say no hell it'll be no to hell no mm. <laughs> they will be because they don't want to identify you know with being a feminist or being this purple haired you know <laughs> woman who's you know like like you see at you know trigley pop or these women you see on, t- on twitter they don't want to have anything to do yeah with that. but you go and you say hey i don't think women should have the right to vote yeah and that they'll they'll fly off the handle or i think that a man should be the primary authority in the household and he should be um the uh the one who's making the decisions for you and you again you should trust him with your life you will see all these women who at church will fly off the handle and you will find out just how very very insaturated the feminine imperative is into this supposedly safe place for you to go and find a good chick what i'm saying is there is no place for Got that it. you can find i met my wife my wife is a fantastic woman you know where i met her at? i met her at a club i was playing a gig okay that's where you're not supposed to meet good quality right. women and that's that, that's what this comes down to is, is guys like to think that there is a mythical being called a quality yeah. woman i'll tell you right now, the one. there is no such thing as a quality woman there are women that is it okay because the woman you thought was quality is the one that divorced you when you were 39 yep. cuz i'll guarantee you back when you married her you go man she's a really great quality yep. woman right yep. No, there are just women and there are just men and you can see what they do and they can display their character and they can show you integrity and they can be people that you respect or disrespect but a woman is going to be a woman no matter so what. your mom is just as hypergamous as your sister or the chick you fuck last yeah exactly got it same. okay so let me ask you this part of the question kind of over again um i've i've thought about this a lot lately in the last couple of weeks uh because when i open my videos it's what's up my brother's mother the mother my rational sisters mm-hmm. And, you know, the more that I kind of go down this rabbit hole of, of, of taking my red pills on a regular basis and, and operating with more awareness, I'm starting to see that I can't really plug in the definition of a rational male and drop male or just add f- male to it, turn into the rational female. Um, what's your view? Like, do you think that there can be a ra- Like, I personally, from my view, I don't see a woman viewing the sexual marketplace in a way that a man can and i think the expectation is from guys is well i'm red pilled i'm a rational male there's got to be a rational female out there i don't think that they can operate with that same you know lens thoughts and the reason the reason for that there's a couple of reasons for that first the first and easiest one is that women are already involved in the game and they have a lot of by default women have skin in the sexual marketplace they have skin in the game okay so they're not going to be a MGTOW and just say i'm out i'm not going to do anything i'm not gonna i just want to have a do it anymore i mean i'm sure there are probably some women that do that but you're always in the game no matter what and so women want to play the game but they don't want to be told how the game works or how the game is being played or how the what the mechanics of it are, what the rules of it are. They just want to know that the car runs and they can drive the car. They don't want to know what's under the hood. They don't want to know how to build the fucking car. They just want to know that it's going to run and it's going to run the way that they suppose it. It, it looks like fun. Let's go play the game, right? And I, I tell guys this all the time. It's like as soon as you start revealing aspects of the red pill to women, don't have any expectation of getting with that woman anymore because you are doing what's called, I think it's called the Hawthorne effect or it's the observer uh, observer bias. And what, it, what that means is observing a process will change that process. So when you start talking about it, and you start you start talking about red pill perspective, you say, you know what, you know why women are like that? Here's why women are like that. And you know what, when it's true and a woman can't argue with that, she do, the, the magic's gone. There's no more, uh, I wonder what he thinks. Or I wonder what, you know, what, you know, what aspect of the game I'm playing right now. She, there's no, there's no mystery to it. And there's no, the, the, you, you suck the fun all out of it. Um, I think one of the reasons, and this sort of is a, a related point, is like when a guy goes on a date and the guy's very blue pill and beta, and he finally gets a date and he goes out with a woman and he sets everything on the table and he spills his guts and he's his entire life story at the restaurant table and says, here's what I'm about. And here's, you know, he's just like rambling and trying to get as much of his own personal information out there as he possibly can because he's hoping to go skip past all of the very awkward attraction arousal phase and get to rapport and get to this comfort zone because he, that's where he thinks the sex is. He thinks the, the sex is in the comfort side of things, which is very wrong. Um, however, the guy goes and he spills his guts and puts all this stuff and what does he do? He removes the mystery entirely from any interaction that they were going to have. She does nothing left to unravel. 
There's no, there's no, does he like me? Does he not like me? There's, it's all settled. It's all out the door. It's all out nice. the window. So there's that aspect of it. Essentially, guys, don't expect women to show up with a rational female t-shirt. It's just not going to happen. Exactly. Well, and then, like I said, it's, it's just explaining something to a woman is going to be the kiss of death for you if you have any hopes to get with that woman. And I, I think that there needs to be a separation between guys who are going to say, like, if I'm online and I'm going, and I, I, I have no other choice but to do this because I'm the guy that's writing all this stuff. Uh, and women come onto my site and they read my site and they want to challenge me or they want to say, it's not always like that or it's always like, you know, or that's really true, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, wall. The, the feeling that they're getting. Because remember, women co women concentrate on feeling when it comes to communication. Mm -hmm. It's always covert. It's always um, context driven. Uh, communication with women is always, how does this conversation make me feel? Whereas like you and I are talking right now as men and I'm relating information to you. And so we prioritize our, our content and the information of what it is that we're relating to each other and we don't just get together for the sake of talking to each other we get together because we're going to relate information to each other maybe i'm going to teach you how to kill a fucking wild wildebeest or something like that and this is how i did it and here's how you can do it women get together because they just want they enjoy the the process of actually communicating and talking so part of that feeling right there gets removed when a woman is talking to a man remember you're talking in two different languages right now there are prioritizations and communication methods so a man's talking about information he thinks that the best way to get into a woman's pants is to let her know everything up front and, and get right down to the point doesn't work and a woman doesn't want that she wants to feel she wants to feel something about that she wants to feel what's this guy you know i'm looking for a feeling even if it's a bad feeling it's as long as it's a feeling you know um and so when you do that you remove that uh that pleasure from her in the communications with you and like I said, they don't want to know how the game is played. They, they just want to play the game. the game. Awesome. Thanks. All right, Roll, I just want to thank you for your time today. Really appreciate that. Uh, again, links are in the description below. If you guys have a comment, uh, please do so. Leave something down there. Smash the like button and share this with somebody that might need to see it. Thanks, Rollo.